there are uh, different natural frequency of the lab corresponding the length of the lab is uh, tabulated here. And uh, so uh, the present study we use signal velocity of uh, 9.7 and uh, uh, 7.5 meters per second, uh, which is maintained, uh, uh, which is achieved by maintaining the pressure drop of the sweater as 0.1 bar and 0.05 bar. So all this uh, uh, small number we arrived based on the constant acoustic pressure that has to be maintained in the axis of the sweater. So research and discussions. Uh, in order to compare the effect of acoustic oscillations uh, with the case where there is no acoustic uh, field, uh, we will be considering the result that our case log uh, at uh, 45 degree, 135 degree, 25 degree and uh, 15 degree with no acoustic uh, field condition. Uh, for all our discussion, uh, we will be considering this as a measure uh, for the star number STD0.215 at uh, 30 mm cross section plane uh, uh, downstream by the exit of the So now we will see the effect of acoustic oscillation on mean velocity. So uh, this plot shows the 3D uh, mean velocity the on the plot. Uh, from this uh, uh, plot, you can see that. Uh, the mean velocity reduces in the presence of acoustic oscillation with compared to the case where there is no acoustic oscillation. So mean velocity of uh, uh, 20 meters per second in the uh, absence of acoustic oscillation is reduced to 14 meters per second in the presence of acoustic oscillations. So, uh, so this plot shows a 3D uh, mean uh, magnitude vector plot. So similarly here also the mean velocity is uh, reduced in the presence of acoustic oscillations. So next, you will see the effect of acoustic oscillation on instantaneous velocity. So, this plot shows the 2D instantaneous velocity uh, uh, control plot. So, uh, from this plot, you can see that, see that the velocity values are reduced in the presence of acoustic oscillation as compared with the presence of acoustic absence of acoustic oscillation. So, the sweller used, used in the present study has uh, 12 mains. Hence, there are pearl rotisserie uh, uh, patches that are uh, localized and centralized uh, in the absence of acoustic oscillations. And these rotisserie uh, patches are uh, uh, delocalized and diffused and spread out in the presence of acoustic oscillations. So, from this uh, phase plot uh, uh, measurements, you can uh, see that we can, we can see that the effect of acoustic oscillations is well is uh, varied with, with uh, respect to the phase of oscillations. So next we will see the effect of acoustic oscillation on RMS magnitude. So this plot shows our 3D RMS magnitude counter plot. So uh, here also the, uh, the big RMS value is reduced in the presence of acoustic oscillation as compared with the non acoustic condition. The RMS value uh, decays at much uh, longer axial distance uh, at the axial distance uh, away from the axial of the uh, in the absence of acoustic oscillation. And this shows the height is spreading that is taking place at a shorter axial distance in the presence of acoustic oscillations. So the effect of acoustic oscillations on axial velocity. So this plot shows the axial velocity on the plot. So the flow, the flow direction is in this way. And, uh, as I, as I discussed earlier, the, uh, we have, in the, for, for the present study, we have used uh, high swell as a swell number is 1.09, so there will be a resurfacing zone, uh, uh, zone formation. So, uh, with the effect of acoustic oscillation, the, this uh, central uh, Terada resurfacing zone length is reduced as compared with the case where there is no acoustic oscillation. The first uh, figure shows the axial variation of the phase average center line axial velocity in the resurfacing zone uh, for STD 0 0.15. Uh, from this figure, we can say that the uh, fluctuation in the axial velocity in the resurfacing zone is uh, varied with respect to the phase oscillations. So, the second uh, figure shows the variation of phase average uh, axial velocity in the resurfacing zone with the small number. So it is uh, seen that the maximum flex flexivation is increased with the increase in the stock.
problem but this thing in the both regimes STV and STD and this finding is in uh, confirmation with the finding of uh, Dawson and team uh, 2005 with their experiment of uh, uh, self uh, excited stolen burner they have used uh, wind passage size as a characteristic dimension for calculating this problem so acoustic Flexivation uh, disturbs the jet coming out of the wind passage. Uh, in this scenario, the appropriate uh, characteristic dimension uh, used uh, used for calculating this problem work is uh, wind passage size. Uh, effect of acoustic oscillation in this problem work uh, is more between the star number uh, point to point six. Summary: uh, With the effect of acoustic oscillation on swell flows, the mean velocity and vorticity values are reduced. Vorticities are uh, diffused, delocalized, and spread out. The effect of acoustic oscillation with swell is varied with respect to the phase of oscillations. The length of CD result is reduced, and jet, and, uh, jet spreading is widened. Considerable fluctuation in the axial velocity is in the result is only seen. Effect of acoustic oscillation on swell flow is more between the star number point. Certainty. The uncertainty in your measurement. Uncertainty. The error analysis. Okay. So, uh, so uncertainty is about 0.4. For the mean? Yeah, yeah. And the flow medium is, uh, is water or air? Thank you very much.